What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today we got our very first leaked pictures of Air Power. It definitely looks a little bit different than when Apple announced it back in September, but still definitely something that is gonna be clearing off shelves just as this clears out your respiratory system. Just kidding, if you can't tell, this is actually not the Air Power wireless charging mat, but I bet I, I bet I got some of you guys out there. In all seriousness, a new report dropped from Bloomberg today that has some concrete, real information about Apple's Air Power wireless charging mat that so many of us have been waiting on for so long long, Apple announced it over like eight or nine months ago in September of 2017. We're in June of 2018 and the product is still not on shelves. And on top of that, wired charging from future iPhones may be removed. Like there might not be a lightning port or a USB-C port. It might be entirely wireless. Let's go ahead and jump in. So it's clear now that AirPower has not been delayed because Apple doesn't want to release it or they're going to set an arbitrary release date in the future. They're not just delaying it to delay it. There are some actual serious engineering issues that Apple has been running into. The first of which is ensuring that when you're charging products on the device, the device doesn't overheat because overheating and batteries don't exactly go together as Samsung learned the hard way. The second engineering challenge that Apple is working to fix is with the actual coils because Apple wants that when you buy this product, you can set your watch, your AirPods wireless charging case, your phone, anywhere on the pad. It doesn't have to be like the watch goes on the right half, the phone goes on the left half, and then the AirPods case has to be like in a specific location in the middle. That's never provided a good user experience. Apple wants to make sure that wherever you place your devices, they are gonna be charged and it's gonna be a really easy process which I think will seriously differentiate this product from other wireless charging mats on the market. So that's really exciting right there. The problem is that making sure it doesn't overheat and including all these wireless charging cables in the product at the same time is not exactly the easiest feat. Apple is having a hard time working on it. And this is another one of Apple's accessories like HomePod, like AirPods that has now been delayed months after being released. But I think this product, AirPower, has been delayed more than HomePod and the AirPods AirPods were, were delayed in their entirety. Now in the same article, Bloomberg also gives us another release date for the AirPower, which is definitely hard to trust considering from other sources, we heard it was initially supposed to be available in March and then available in June. And in the article, Bloomberg says that Apple's initial target release date for this product was actually June of this year. And technically June's not over, but based on this new report, Bloomberg now says that AirPower should be coming either in September or before September. So if Apple waits until September of this year, that's a year since they announced AirPower and it would just be on sale one year later. There's still no word on pricing yet, so we don't know if this is gonna be $49 or $99 or $149 or $199. I think a realistic price for this because it's coming from Apple would be 149 bucks, but fairly, I think $99 would be a very fair price for this product. We'll have to see what Apple comes up with. I don't think it's gonna be super cheap. I also hope it's not like $300 or $200 for something that at the end of the day is just a wireless charging mat, something that has existed for years now and that Apple's just making a little bit better with the ability to place your devices anywhere on it. So I'm glad to hear that AirPower was not abandoned. Apple is still actively working on it. They're trying to work out all the kinks before releasing it to everyone. So obviously waiting to release this before releasing just a bad flawed product is what Apple usually does. It's gonna be worth it in the end, but in the meantime, it's definitely a little bit frustrating for anybody that has wanted to get their hands on this product that saw it in September and still cannot buy it yet. There was also some other information that Bloomberg dropped though, arguably a lot more interesting than anything related to air power or wireless charging as a concept that future iPhones may abandon the charging port in their entirety. And that's a big idea. That's a really big deal. And that's something that is gonna make a lot of people really, really upset. Now I wanna make it clear, there's no release time frame for this. It simply said that Apple designers are working to remove as many buttons and ports from the iPhone as humanly possible. And for the iPhone 10, they were thinking about not putting a charging port on the device, making it charge wirelessly only. But the reason they didn't do that is because wireless charging, at least in this point in time, in 2018 is still almost nine times out of 10 or generally slower than wired charging. And number one, I'm really glad that Apple didn't switch it to wireless charging only because there's so many questions that go along with that. Is it gonna be Qi wireless charging still? Do you get a free wireless charging pad? Is it gonna be a free air power with every iPhone? Do all of your lightning cables just have no use now? Do they come with AirPods? Because how would you plug in headphones with a portless phone? Like the questions just go on and on and I'm sure they're questions that Apple has thought about. I'm sure that when and if this finally happens, it will be well thought out, but just the concept 
of wired chargers being available everywhere in Starbucks and airports, you have USB ports everywhere. Suddenly the iPhone does not have a way to charge it without the wireless charging pad. That's a really big deal. That's a, that's a huge change. That could be one of the biggest changes to mobile phones ever because while having the option to wireless charge is nice and while I always appreciate that as a feature on a phone, having that exclusively in a world that just isn't really wireless charging friendly kind of scares me. But what I want to make clear is that this is probably not going to happen in 2018 or 2019 or even 2020. This is an idea set very far in the future, I would hypothesize, and Bloomberg themselves mentions no release date for this happening. They don't say 2020, they don't say 2025. They just say Apple is exploring this idea. This is the reported ultimate goal for Apple's iPhone designer. So we'll have to wait and see a few years from now if iPhones do have fewer buttons and ports as this report suggests. That's all the information that I've got for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something new, if you have some opinions, hit the like button, drop a comment down below. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this on future Apple News, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. That would be incredible. If you want to go that extra mile to help support the channel and get a shirt like the one I'm wearing right now, you can head over to shop.ifdatos.com and that would be absolutely amazing. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great and I'll talk to you in my next video.